Hey all my friends, it's time to rise from the grave with our review of The Dead Don't Die, a new film from Jim Jarmusch where we get the story of Centerville and its two police officers that patrol it. Well, this peaceful little town soon gets thrown into chaos when there is a zombie apocalypse and we see how these two police officers try to wrap their heads around the situation and figure out how they're going to deal with all these undead. Folks, this film is a lot of fun. Its heart is deeply nestled into indie cinema and I am highly surprised that this film got wide release. It snuck its way into the back door, I think, and I am glad it did. Adam Driver and Bill Murray have some great comedic timing in here. It makes you wonder how much they stuck to the script and how much was improv because they just play off each other so well. There is a great quirky cast of characters in this movie and everybody gets a chance to shine in this all-star cast from Tilda Swinton to Riza to Iggy Pop to Selena Gomez to I mean the list goes on but everybody gets their moment in front of the camera. Danny Glover it was great seeing him on screen and even seeing Carol Kane reunite with Bill Murray even if it's for a short time was great to see. I love the effects in here. They worked within the budget that they had and it is just odd. It's a refreshing, wonderfully original zombie comedy that if you're going in expecting a big, huge summer action-packed film, you're going to be disappointed. But if you like your odd, dry humor, unusual comedy uh, that involves zombies and horror references, as well as some meta references, I think you're going to really enjoy this film. I highly recommend you see it if you enjoy that type of movie. But if you're thinking for your straight up regular horror zombie film, you're going to be disappointed. Thank you so much for listening. Also, check out the GNCast.com for some great genre podcasts. I thank you for your support. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.